And now, here's human music. Hello, this is Vegeman here, and today I'll be showing you my LEGO Guilty Longinus, as well as my new DB human system. Music. So, I'm a little late on this Beyblade, and that's because, as you know, I was out of the Beyblade game, as my fellow youths say, for about a year. And that's just because I was more into Hot Wheels at the time, and wasn't really into Beyblades. But, since I'm back into Beyblades, I figured, why not make some of my favorite new ones? The first of which being Guilty Longinus. Longinus is one of my all-time favorite Beyblade lines, and ignoring the name, Guilty Longinus is one of my favorite Beyblades in DB. My list for most to least favorite goes Lost Longinus, Bloody Longinus, Guilty Longinus, Zwei Longinus, Nightmare Longinus, and Rage Longinus. Definitely some unpopular opinions in there, but they are mine. Bloody Longinus in particular isn't great in terms of performance, but the first time I saw one, I thought it looked sick and I really wanted to get it. Also, Destroy is my favorite driver. I think it's the perfect balance between attack and stamina with great life after death, and I'm really happy to have one in my collection. It's crazy. Over four years later, it's still a competitive driver, and I think a rubber flat version would be pretty cool. But anyways, let's get into the LEGO Beyblade. So for a general overview, it's on an updated version of my realistic burst system, it has low mode and high mode, and while less accurate looking than it could be, is comfortably launchable and battleable. The main feature of my DB system is that the Beyblades won't explode when you launch them. That's because I chose a balance between performance and accuracy that favors performance. Unlike a lot of my older designs, which were primarily built as replicas, but with that being said, I'm still quite happy with how this Beyblade looks, and I like it even more because I can battle it. For me, battling is half the fun, and it's the entire reason I got into LEGO Beyblades, so I'm definitely going to be doing some battle videos once I have another one built. But anyways, for the lair, we have Guilty Longinus. The Longinus core is just a standard less spin one, and because of the balance between performance and accuracy, it's not my most accurate design, but it won't explode when you launch it, so that's good. My DB system doesn't include armor, but different armors won't change performance when it's a Lego. My system does include low mode and high mode. Similar to the real thing, low mode has increased burst resistance and is generally better for battle, while high mode has a large gap on DB discs and decreased burst resistance. Once I built some non-DB Beyblades using this system, their discs will only be compatible with high mode, making high mode more useful in battle. Moving on to the blade, we have Guilty. I think it's quite accurate to the real one. And even with the high recoil, it still holds together really nicely. I used some light gray plates to represent the metal dragon heads. Originally, they were gonna be these minifigure claw pieces, which looked really accurate, but it was too fragile to launch. My favorite part about the Guilty ring is this purple to blue fade, and I think I captured it really nicely. Overall, it's a pretty nice layer, and I think it'll battle pretty well, because it's quite heavy, at 25 grams. For reference, the Achilles layer is only 18 grams. The LEGO layer is so heavy to make up for the lost weight from its LEGO disc. Speaking of the disc, here's my LEGO version of Karma. It's relatively simple, but I try to make it as accurate as I can, mainly in terms of performance. It weighs around 9 grams, and it has some pretty hard-hitting plates, but they're covered up by the layer. It's got some plates on the outside edge for better weight distribution, but similarly to the real one, they're not great for life after death. The poor life after death is made up for by the driver, Metal Destroy. It's fairly simple, and has a similar movement pattern to the real one, which I'm pretty happy about. I used a Technic pin for the tip of the driver, and the free spinny bit is a 2x2 two two round plate with a hole in it. It's a bit more accurate than my old design, because the plate spins freely at the tip. Thankfully, Guilty Longinus's driver is gray, because that's the only color I could make out of LEGO. As you probably know, LEGO does not make metal bricks. And as you also probably know, I called it Metal Destroy. So you might be wondering how I did it. Well, it's simple. It wears down your Beyblade's teeth and sacrifices burst resistance for a couple extra grams of weight. I'm kidding. Metal drivers are fine. What I really did was put a Technic axle in the driver, so it adds a little bit of extra weight and I represented that it's a metal driver using some gray pieces on the top. The added weight is about 1 gram. Pretty good. The full weight of the Beyblade is around 38 grams. The same weight as my favorite combo, the OG Standstill Spin Steel Beyblade Drain Fafnir Polish Atomic. But anyways, now that you know the details, you probably want to see it spinning. So let's go! Go shoot! Oh, human music. I like it.
Now let's go back to my desk to do the outro. Alright, we're back at my desk for the outro. Hope you enjoyed this video. I had a pretty fun time making it, and I'm really happy with how this Beyblade turned out. Also, I'm pretty excited because I've been working on a Leviathan evolution. It's been two years since the last one, and in between that time, I got two 3D printers, a resin printer and an FDM printer, learned an entirely new software and got pretty good at it, Fusion 360, and have had generally a lot of practice with design work and drawing, so it's going to be super sick and I'm really excited for it. But anyways, here Vegeman is this hello, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! OG Stan Spilston Spiel.